for a thousand artists standing by to redraw the picture every time you moved your head. Well, what if there were a thousand artists standing by to redraw the picture every time you moved your head? And what if they could do it, oh, I'll just pick a number, say 60 times a second. Here it is. We call this dynamic perspective. This is one of our lock screens. We had a lot of fun making these lock screens. I'll show you a couple of others. Let's see. Uh, all right, how about forest? Falling leaves there, nice touch, brilliant designers. How about, <laughs> they are brilliant. How about balloons? Gorgeous. All right, let me show you some other things with dynamic perspective. And you're going to get a chance to play with this later. Uh, I'm very excited about you getting your own hands on this. Um, let's go in to maps. And let's go to the Empire State Building. There we go. Let's zoom in even a little more. There's the Empire State Building. Um, let's, um, let's go to our current location. The current location button here in the lower left-hand corner, a little, little black arrow. We're going to tap on that. Bam. Here we are in Fremont. And uh, let's look for some Thai food around here. Search for Thai restaurants. Here they are. Plenty of Thai restaurants nearby. Um, let me show you dynamic perspective, how useful it is in certain situations on screen. So again, look at, I draw your attention to this little current location indicator there, the, the black arrow. You see how it's on a different layer from the map itself. And it's occluding the name of the street underneath it. Now, as a designer on a phone, you're often faced with this kind of trade-off. Every time you bring an on-screen element onto something like a map, it obscures something else. And so you have to be very judicious. But here, we get to use natural movement. I can tilt just like that, and it says Smith Street. I tilt a little left, and I see it's West Smith Street. It's covered up when I'm holding it like this, but oh, I look down. That, you don't have to teach anybody to do that. Everybody in this room, everybody in this world already knows how to do that because it's how physical objects behave. And we use dynamic perspective sensors to be able to do this. Just to tilt my phone a few degrees and up pops more information. So since it knows what angle I'm holding the phone, I can see all of the Yelp reviews, how many reviews there are, how many stars there are. I can do it the traditional way, swiping through. But I can also just tilt a little bit like this. Now again, you would never make the default to have, these, uh, to have all this information on screen because it's too obscuring. It obscures too much behind. But if you can just have a gentle tilt, get that information, and then tilt back, and it goes away. It's incredibly natural. That's dynamic perspective. Let me show you some other things on dynamic perspective. 